I must share something with you that when I entered this particular campus, uh, as they say, the hallowed campus of uh, EDI today, this morning, uh, I got a vibe that you know things actually happen here. You know, sometimes when you enter a particular, I was sharing this with, with the faculty members. Uh, when you enter institutes of national eminence, like uh, like the IITs and the IIMs and the and the Orient Institute of Medical Sciences and such institutes. Uh, you know, one just gets a vibe that, you know, whether things are really happening or things are not happening. I think I got a vibe that things are actually happening here in this, in this, particular, uh, in this particular institute. Uh, the design of this particular institute, the, the faculty members, and the enthusiasm and the, uh, and a general, uh, a kind of, you know, vibe for excellence, you know. So that, that kind of impressed me. Now, having said that, you know, uh, long time back, not long time back, I think I, I just a few months back, uh, I think it was in June 2017 when we are celebrating the, the uh, International Entrepreneurship Day. That was on, I believe, June the 26th or June the 27th, I think one of those days. But the Honorable President of India actually, uh, you know, graced that occasion in, in Vigyan Bhavan. And in fact, we got some people who have excelled, you know, in making entrepreneurs out of out of you know the, the, the out of those people who who want to set up an enterprise. So one of these persons, you know, said something uh, which I want to share with you. He said, "Who is an entrepreneur?" He said, an entrepreneur is somebody who has antar prerna. This is antar prerna hai, wohi entrepreneur ban sakta hai. Otherwise, koi nahi bana sakta hai. And I think, I think that is so apt and so nice and so good. What institutions like EDI and the government and others and experts like Dr. Shukla, Mr. Kamde and others, what, they, what do they do? They perhaps provide an ecosystem which kind of facilitates, which kind of gives them some kind of an incentive that, okay, it is in you, you can actually go forward. Now, coming back to, I don't want to give a very long speech. Honorable Minister is going to speak to you, address you. Just one thing which I want to share before Honorable Minister, that we have 18 tool rooms all across this country, tool rooms and technology centers, which are doing exceedingly well in skilling people, making them job ready, and telling them that, look, it is in you, and after that training and skilling, they can set up their own enterprise. 15 more are under construction. 10 of them, they have already started the training program. And Honorable Prime Minister announced on the 2nd of November 120 more centers, 20 very large and 100 small centers are going to be set up in the next three years in this country. This is going to be a huge game changer for the country and for people like you who really want to, you know, update themselves with the latest in technology. I was suggesting to Dr. Shukla why can't we develop a small module where all the directors of these two rooms can be called here and there can be a one week training with some of the people so that all these 18 tool rooms and the 15 which are in the offing they can start that module in every such program Whenever there is a there is a there is a program training program, people can be told that look, you want to you want to go to some jobs, you want to join some jobs, it's fine. But if you want to set up an enterprise, this is how you have to do. If you want to become an entrepreneur, this is what you do. You want to go and do something, a job for somebody, that's fine. But they should rather set up their own enterprise, and many of them have started doing it. MSMEs are the flavor of the season. MSMEs 
are coming in a big way into the formal economy, especially after GST. I don't know many of you may be knowing that out of 1.17 crore registrations in the GSTN, more than 1 crore, almost 1 crore 7 to 6 lakhs registrations in GSTN are MSMEs. That means these people have started dreaming, started dreaming big. Now it is our responsibility, who all are here and maybe some of the ladies and gentlemen who are sitting right in front and in fact all of you, what should we do so that these people who have these, you know, some lurking fear somewhere that pata nahi kya karenge, kutgarbar ho jayega, loan lenge, loan dup jayega, ye ho jayega, wo ho jayega. Ye jo man mein ye bhram rahta hai, man mein kuch sawale, to usko kaise kya karen taaki wo jaake apna wo kaam kar sakhe. And many state governments including Gujarat have done exceedingly well to develop that ecosystem. So I think we all have to come together so that at least we can do that. And more and more people who are in the MSMEs can actually, you know, they, they can set up their own business, they can start employing people, they would start becoming job givers, not job seekers. This is what our Honorable Prime Minister has been saying. This is what many of the state governments have been trying to do. And this is what is our motto and dream. How do we convert somebody from becoming a job seeker to be a job giver? So this is our responsibility, this is our dream and I would like to congratulate EDI, I would like to congratulate all of you, especially the, the, the faculty members, everybody who is contributing to this and I am sure it's going to do even better and it's going to come out with flying colors in the years to come. I want to congratulate each one of you. I'm sure there are some people who are, maybe they are from, um, from other parts of the country, from, from abroad. I saw that you know you have a footprint even outside the country also. And my best wishes uh, in the new year. And then you know we should, we should dream big and we should actually pursue our dreams. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.